Welcome to Brent's Anime Recommendation Corner, where I talk about something I love, some anime I love, and today I'm talking about the original Ah My Goddess OVA, aka Oh My Goddess, depending on when you kind of hit that franchise. Yep, here in that 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 lovely sigh <laughs> of, of recognition, um, because this OVA is one of those things that I just really do love. Um... Um, very, very 90s in all of its, yeah. its senses yep. and, and forms. Um, adaptation of the very um, well-respected manga. And um, uh, it is basically about a young man, uh, we'll see if we can get there, um, who makes a phone call, tries to deliver some pizza, and accidentally phones up a goddess. Don't you hate when that happens? <laughs> Um, but, uh, then all of a sudden, uh, to his, uh, surprise and delight, a goddess actually shows up through a mirror and, uh, pops in and, uh, decides to, to spend some time with him. And this is Bell Dandy, one of the great, um, Moe anime characters of the 90s, um, <laughs> who, uh, uh, shows up and essentially makes a contract with, uh, with Keiichi here. And um, he now has to find other magical girls and fight off. No, 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 different, different show. Um, <laughs> and uh, um, basically to live with him. And that is a whole thing um, that they actually deal with in the storyline um, later on in the manga about why she is fine with actually like living with this guy, um, this sort of schleppy, schleppy um, college student. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, she ends up living with him. One of the things that is so sweet about this show, actually, is the relationship between Keiichi and Bell Dandy, um, is the fact that he is genuinely just a really nice guy. Um, he is not the generic anime protagonist. Um, he actually is proactive in trying to, like, take care of Bell Dandy and think about her feelings and so forth uh, and do the right thing, despite the fact that this quickly turns into a harem anime, basically. <laughs> Um, as her other two sisters show up and your know, hilarity ensues. Um, and the OVA especially does a, a surprisingly effective job of balancing um, definitely comedy with some genuinely sweet uh, romantic moments in, a, in, in kind of the classic sense of romance where they clearly have a fondness for each other um, but it never um, develops into anything like really serious because they're just getting to know each other and just kind of getting there with each other. Uh, and it, just, it is very sweet how they, they come to, to enjoy each other's company over time. Um, and they're just naturally sweet characters, which is lovely. Um, also, and again, this is very much the style, as, as you all can see, this is... 90s style animation and art, um, uh, very bright, very somewhat washed out. Although I think that is also intentional because it is a, um, it is meant to be this light, upbeat show. So it is literally light <laughs> in a lot of ways, um, and so they're, they're always sitting in these these giant patches of sun and so forth, which, which is quite nice. Uh, and you get all of these um, uh, fabulous character designs. And it's just really, really um, uh, one of those shows that, on the one hand, probably is not going to challenge your concept of what it means to be human. Um, you know, it's not going to really blow your mind in, in that sense, but it will absolutely entertain you and be quite charming and uh, a nice little relaxing way to spend some time. I will say the manga goes on for a lot of volumes. <laughs> And so this OVA is just almost a, an appetizer for the manga. It's kind of setting it up, introducing the characters, getting you familiar with them. The other two sisters do show up later on. And I know Erd does. I'm not sure about School. I think School does show up in, in episode three. Um, but yeah, it is, it is just this introduction to this set, setting in this world. Uh, and it's just a really fun experience with all of that, which again, I think manages to, to thread the needle between all these different elements of the storyline um, in just a, a really, really pleasant way. Um, really cute, lovely opening credit sequence, um, uh, very 
90s pop um, uh, opening credit sequence there. And uh, again, just a, a really, really lovely time. So that is the original Ah oh My Goddess or Oh My Goddess OVA.